You have some experience with possession. Yes, more than I'd like. An exorcist movie creeps under your skin and gets you. We pick up the story of Victor and his daughter, Angela. A man who's raising his daughter alone. They'd be home by dinner. I love you. Good morning, Mr. Fielding. Angela and Catherine have been friends. They're both at that age where they're just finding themselves. What are you and Catherine doing out there in those woods? <laughs> they are just walking and walking. Their families, in a sense, are opposites of each other. Victor's put church and faith behind him. The other parents have faith, they have community. Wherever those girls went, they brought something back with them. The film is dealing with the vulnerability of parenthood with a child that's dealing with possession. Have you ever seen anything like this? No, but there are people out there who have. Playing a character that I created 50 years ago, I thought, She's had 50 years of living. Who has she become? Ellen Burstyn really blessed the project. Chris McNeil's going to have her first confrontation with a demon in many years. Don't be scared. We've met before. Mother. It's a terrifying thought. You can be taken over by a force that's inside. There have been possessions throughout history. It's not just in one location or one religion or one culture. It's universal. One girl lives, one girl dies. God, please.